So I'm here with Chef David Arnold at the French Culinary Institute. David, you are playing around with a really cool technology, the 3D food printer. Talk to me, what exactly is this? All right, well, basically it's a machine that you, you take any form of paste, right? That's the, that's the kind of thing you have to get. And you get it into a syringe, and it'll extrude it into any shape that any shape you want. As long as you can create it in the computer, uh, you can make it out of whatever you can put through the syringe. So we're doing things with uh, icing, we're doing things with uh, cookie doughs, we're doing things, this is masa, the same stuff you make tortillas out of, um, things like that. The, the only real limitation now is that the product has to be uh, able to go through a syringe. Other than that, sky's the limit. All right, so here it's a little more sturdy now that it's been steamed. So that's the, I'm gonna fry it, don't worry. <laughs> Everything's better for I'm a graduate student at Cornell University in the Computational Synthesis Lab, and I'm the lead of the Fab at Home project. This is an open source 3D printer. And what that means is we give away all the blueprints, all the designs, all the technical information that you need to build your own, to sell your own, or to innovate with it. The basic innovation behind it is that it allows you to inject skill into the process. I may not be the best frosting decorator in the world, but with a 3D printer, I can lay my food down and get beautiful artwork out. So it's about making it as easy as possible by injecting the skill of others. Anything that requires uh, a high level of precision that people don't usually have with their hands in terms of making uh, icing or decorations, this thing can perform amazingly well and have good repetition for small runs, like your house, like your holiday cookies, right? How much would one of these go for? So the, the price point that we're shooting for is uh, about a grand. So uh, we, we would like it to be $1,000, and then eventually we, we want to bring it to a price point of, say, $700. So we'll bring it to the price point of the iPad, and then we're good to go. I'll buy it. Okay. Try to... It's good, right? Really good.